Good morning, parents. My name is Matt Rich, and I am the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction here in Downers Grove. And my goal today is to give you a walkthrough of our new math op learning opportunity, IXL. IXL is a website that allows us to have differentiated practice for students to engage them in mathematical thinking in areas that they may need reinforce in the classroom, they may need desire enrichment, or they may need some ass special assistance for. To get into IXL, you simply go to www.ixl.com backslash sign in backslash Downers Grove. The children who are already using this in the classroom know they're at this website, but it's good to have at home anyways. Sign in is simple. They simply come in and they put their district ID down. It's DG and then whatever six digits that they use for all of their other logins in the school district. And they put in their district password. And you can hit Remember Me to make it even simpler. This works on any computer, a Mac, PC, or Mac, PC, Android, iOS. It should work fine on any operating system. Ubuntu, Linux should be fine. Hit Sign In, and you're brought to a Skills page. Now, in our Skills page, you have a lot of opportunities, a lot of things that kids can work on. You can work by grade level or you can lurk by topic area. So for example, if we want to go into addition skills, we can move and see the kindergarten, the first grade, second grade, and beyond. So a kid who gets strength in something, they can move above their grade level. Kids that need to go back and reinforce a skill can go back. This will tie really nicely into our new map assessment system where we can, as a classroom teacher, identify strengths and growth areas for students and provide diagnostically based enrichment or remediation. Where do we push them ahead? Where do we push them, hold them back, or come back to to fill in gaps? But let's take it easy on ourselves. Let's look at grades. And I have a child that's working in fifth grade math on this particular thing. And this child's worked on a variety of things. We can see by the medals where that child's worked. And if they've gotten 100% or 100 down, they've reached mastery on this. And where they have 85 or whatever fraction number underneath it tells us they have not completed mastery in that topic yet. And we can see that this child's worked on a variety of place value and geometry skills. To, sit, to click into a topic area, we'll go into the scientific notation one right here. We can see that this child's tried 35 problems. They've reached a smart score out of 85, which means that they've gotten ones right and wrong through the algorithm the, dist the, you, the program uses to get to 85. 100, once again, is mastery. So. We'll take this 813 and I'm going to answer some questions here for them. 300 zero, zero, and submit. They get a great job. Continue. You see the SMART score increased from 85 to 87. We can see that that child's worked another 30 seconds on the problem. We do the next one 9.70 times 10 to the fourth. One, two, three, 10 to the fifth. Submit, the SMART score comes up. We make a mistake on it. Not only does the SMART score go back down, but we can see that an explanation is given. Oh, here's the review of the problem. Here is a reminder about how powers of 10 work. It shows us how it calculates and gives the solution to the problem. It gives us step-by-step -step directions, thus reinforcing for the child what they need to do next. We've got got it. I believe this child started at 85, so I want to return that child to 85. And I have to hit one more for them. Ah, well, close enough. The child gets a bonus. And... We've got a smart score that's equivalent. Note that the problems have changed and the amount of time has a change to it. Now well, let's say I don't want to finish that, that problem. I can go back and look at the skill set by simply hitting the grade level again. And I can look at what my options are to go and explore next. And a variety of skills are here that align with the Common Core and align with just what math practices children should be working on in or at a grade level. 
If you look at it and put your cursor over the title, it will show you sample problems from various areas that children will have to work on. The neat thing about IXL in comparison to other programs is it really does give children a variety of curricular areas. It's not just calculation that children will need to work with. The next piece that's valuable for parents is the reports function. If you hit the reports area right here, you can see now the reports come up in flash. So you do need to do this from a Mac or a PC. You cannot do this from an iOS or Android device. Reports tell you where the child has been working and how much time has been spent. This child has done 16 problems this school year at pre-K. He's also done 249 problems and practiced nine skills and spent 46 minutes on it at fifth grade. As we look, we can see that that child has spent all of their time in January on this. And what's neat is you get this news flash piece. And in the news flashes, it tells you different statement steps the child has reached along the way and different certificates that they can print right here along the way. So we can see on January 8th, this child started. On January 19th, they got 100 problems. January 20th, they got 200 problems. And if you hit print, you can see the certificate of achievement. And hey, Cameron has gotten 200 math problems done. This allows us to support and positively reinforce our child learning mathematics. If we go back to reports, we get the overview. We can see school year. We can also dig deeper and see how they're spending their time. This child spent most of his time on place value. And we can see what things he started or she started and where they need to continue, what skills they've mastered. Remember, when they get answers wrong, they have to go back. And when they get answers right, they, have to, they get to move forward. As such, this can tell us, A, how many problems that took them, but B, whether or not they've reached mastery. Not whether or not they got them all right, but whether or not they've reached a mastery point. Finally, throughout the process, the child will see awards. And if we look back at those fifth grade awards that this child is working on, do do. After he gets a certain set of skills, he'll get little awards and a little on his bingo card. He got the dog for answering 100 questions. He got the scooter for mastering five skills. To get this next question mark, he needs to practice one more skill in place values and number sets. To get this question mark, he needs to practice five skills in measurement. IXL aligns to state standards, and it really can be as a positive practice tool. Students will have IXL accounts throughout the year and they can continue to use those during winter break, summer break, and they will be using the same account next year. So the account follows them from grade to grade, thus giving them a continual pro progression of learning. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, you can reach me at my district email account, mrichmrich at dg58.org. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.